making the consistent characters is equal to making the influences. Because many of you guys have used this technique to make the virtual influences. As in my previous videos, I have also shared a technique how you guys can make your AI influencer, how you guys can change the pose of your AI influencer. But in all of these videos that you are watching around the internet, there is a one thing common that everybody is using Stable Diffusion's web UI called Focus. That is a really good tool. But problem is, everybody is facing the error while using this on a Google Collab. So in this video, I'm gonna share an other free AI tool that allows you to make consistent characters with just a single input image. So without any further ado, Let's dive into the video. So there are two ways to access this AI tool. First one is using their Google Collab Notebook. So this one is from the Kamen Duro, which is awesome Google Collab Notebooks. But uh, the problem with the Google Collab, you have to be a pro member of a Google Collab. But we're gonna look at the free version. And uh, for the free option, you can use the Hugging Face. So here is the URL. And this AI tool is called the Photo Maker that is designed by a Tencent Art. Uh, so first of all, let's see how does it work. So here's the quick guide. So first of all, you have to upload image of someone you want to customize. One image is okay, but the more is better. Although we don't perform a face detection, the face in the uploaded image should be occupy the majority of the image. So it means it should be a closer portrait of a someone. And the next step is a really important because this is about the prompting and the prompting is different here. Uh, these are some triggered words like image, man image, woman image, girl image. So don't get confused by that. I'm gonna explain this later in the video. So first of all, we have to upload the image of our main character so this is the image so make sure that it should be a closer portrait of your character well you can also upload the multiple images but we're gonna start with the single image so once your image is uploaded then in the prompt section you have to type a prompt like this a photo of a image so make sure to type the image in a bracket so why we typed image instead of lady or a woman because this is the triggered word because this AI is trained and designed like this well you can also use the words like the woman image or a girl image but according to my observation just typing an image works best in most of the cases then you have to type the location like with the pink hairs sitting in a coffee shop now the next step is to selecting the model so if we click on that here we have the different styles we have the cinematic style disney character digital art photographic fantasy neon so these are almost 8 to 10 styles that you can select but in most of the cases i think the photographic style works best and next if we click on the advanced options here we have the negative prompt so this is the default negative prompt so if you want to make any changes to it you can also make it then we have the control to select the number of steps so by default this is 50 and then we have the style strength so you can also define how much style you want to apply on your image then you can also select the number of images that is maximum four guidance skill and if you want to play around with the seed numbers it all depends on you then simply hit submit okay so these are the output images and look at that how realistic these are and look at that it's 90 percent matching our input character but in few cases, it doesn't match the face 100%, but don't worry about that, we also have a solution for that. So these are the results from a single input image. Now let's try uploading a multiple images. So these are some images of one of my friends and one of my clients. So I'm gonna upload all of these images with the different angles where you can see with different poses. I'm gonna upload all of them. Okay, so once all of the images are uploaded, we're gonna play around with the prompt. So the first part of the prompt will be same, a photo of an image, but I'm gonna delete the rest of this and will be replaced like photo of an image, wearing black sunglasses and black suit. And this time I'm gonna go with the no style and hit submit. Okay, so these are the output results and now look at that. This is 100% matching and staying on the safer side, I will say this is 90% matching. And this is the input image and look at the output images because we uploaded multiple images this time that's why we have a much much better results than our previous image well this is not just limited to the human characters you can also try this thing with the cartoon characters you can do this thing with the a influencer so it all depends on you but i know most of you guys will do this for creating the a influencers so this method is much much easy and fast than using the focus on a google collab but sometimes you may get error because of the high traffic so you can try again and again for the multiple times and this will work for you so that's how you guys can make consistent characters without paying anything, without going into all of the technicalities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.